This video is about people want to see you fail. I'm going to try my best to explain why people want to see you fail in your business, career, relationships, life in general. To find out more, please stay tuned to this video. Welcome to the SCG Show, the home of education entertainment. And please do me a favor, if you really enjoyed this video, smash that like button. I would really appreciate it. Now, you've maybe never been told this, realized it. However, I've got this straight from the horse's mouth. Most people, friends, family, spouse, children, whatever, they want to see you fail. Now, I'm not saying that everyone wants to see you lose and fail. That is why I clearly highlighted most instead. Where did the idea for this video come from? I sat down for coffee with a mentor of mine who is a self-made millionaire. We were talking about the subjects of friendships, relationships, family. I looked at him and saw what he had achieved, starting from nothing and going on to grand success. He asked me a simple, valid question. What happened to all your different groups of friends over the years? I shrugged my shoulders and I said, a variety of reasons drifting apart, maybe they were toxic. Then he continued, did you ever once consider that maybe they wanted to hold you back? I hadn't. He'd got me there. But he went on. Most people want to see you fail. Don't you know that, SCG? That's a really harsh and brutal statement. Some of my best friends, family members, even exes of the past wanted to see me fail. He continued, they want to hold you back sometimes, keep you where you are, never to crack on, achieve goals. This is happening all the time. Trust me. Look, I'm not a millionaire, a man with a business empire or whatever. But I'm a person who has grown tremendously over the last couple of years. And with that, I've had to leave certain people behind, especially those who do not respect my boundaries or may have crossed the line. But I had never done so under the whim that they maybe wanted to see me fail. I knew I had haters, everyone does, but wanting me to fail? Wanting me to lose in my life financially, romantically? That really does cut like a knife. It took some time to seriously think this through, and here is why I agree with him, and I believe people do want to see you fail. People want to see you fail due to massive insecurities they have about themselves. See, if you go on to succeed in your goals and your aspirations, it will make other people question themselves sadistically. Why have they achieved success and not me, they'll say. Or what makes them better than me? Or why are they doing well and I'm not? In my humble and honest opinion, people have become far more entitled and self-absorbed than ever before. Meaning that we are breeding narcissists and insecure people as far as the eye can see. They have no empathy or cannot emotionally relate to others at all. They secretly and willingly bask in your despair, your misery, your failure. I learned this the hard way when I lost my dad in April 2020 to illness. There were people who were delighted to see me and my family suffer. And how sadistic is that? It brought them closer together as a family and they could not wait to show off to the world how happy they were whilst we were drowning in grief. And most of this is built down on an insecurity that they are not good enough. Ask any ambitious or self-made successful person, and amongst the many traits they possess, an enormous amount of self-belief is one. And if you don't believe in yourself at all, you're going to fail. No question. So the people who want to see you fail are dreadfully insecure. They have no confidence in themselves, no confidence in their abilities, their skills, whatever. They arrogantly believe they know everything and they don't listen to advice nor seek it. They are not willing to do the hard work, they are lazy, and they're incredibly entitled. They are not willing to persevere, keep showing up. If they haven't achieved success overnight, they'll give up. They lazily and arrogantly hope and believe success somehow, some way, miraculously is going to fall on their lap, or in some cases, you're going to give it to them. Life does not work that way. Understand they're rooting for your failure because they hate themselves. They never wanted to do the work to improve on their flaws. They would rather beg for attention and play the victim and want success easily. 
Hopefully you learn this and understand and embody this sooner rather than later. People want to see you fail because they are insecure. Please don't forget to hit the like button if you are enjoying this video. Like the previous point, jealousy runs through the veins of the people who want to see you fail. I'm fortunate enough to say I have never had a jealous bone in my body from a young age. I've always been the sort of person who is inspired by others rather than jealous. There's a guy I know who is well on his way to becoming a self-made millionaire. He started his own business only two years ago and has had to overcome great hardships to even get close to his dream. I remember going to a party a few years back that he hosted to share his success. He hired a caterer, had drinks flowing, everyone wanted to have fun, but in the corner were a bunch of rude, disrespectful people mocking him. They said things like the following, who does he seriously think he is? He thinks he's genuinely better than us. He thinks he can show off how successful he is. I was utterly disgusted to hear such jealous and spiteful remarks with this successful guy. He was once an orphan adopted by two loving people. He left school at the age of 18 to pursue a career in finance. He worked so bloody hard to work his way up the ladder. He studied weekends, evenings. He sacrificed going out. He sacrificed vacations. He risked it all to start his own business, despite people warning him he would fail. And all those jealous jerks at that party could do was see the finished article. All they could see was his nice house, how happy he was, how much money he had, the success, the car, the business, etc. Not the two long, grueling, hard decades, sleepless nights, the risks taken, the money lost, and the stress to get to the eventual point of success. They want to see you fail because they're jealous of you. Not long ago, I had someone laughing at me for starting this very channel, The SCG Show. Now since the channel and my blog has grown, he no longer speaks to me. In fact, he tells people I know, who does he think he is with The SCG Show, his blog, what he's doing, his videos, and so on. Get this into your head. Jealousy is very real, my friend. And that is why they want you to fail. The final reason people want to see you fail is because they lack the bravery and the courage to pursue their own goals and dreams. Ask any successful self-made person in any walk of life and they will tell you how it takes an enormous amount of courage and bravery to pursue anything worthwhile. That famous quote rings true. If it were easy, everyone would do it. If it were easy to get a PhD, a master's, everyone would have one. If it was easy to be a top doctor or a surgeon, everyone would be doing surgery. If it were easy to run a successful business making millions, we'd all be rich. If it was easy to have a lo loving, successful relationship, no one would be single. If it were easy to invest and make a fortune, we'd all be multi-millionaires or billionaires. You catch my drift, right? Most people have not got the courage to even ask a person out, let alone start a business, or let alone invest thousands into stocks or crypto or real estate. But the reason they want you to fail is because it confirms that being a coward was correct, and you will in fact make them look back for being timid, a coward, not taking a risk. It makes them look bad. In fact, they're so desperate for you to fail, so they can turn to you and to others and say, look, I told you it's not easy. Look, they failed. Please try your absolute best to ignore such negative, low-aiming, toxic thinking. They might be in your family, friends even, or your spouse, shooting you and your ideas, your goals, your dreams down. Once again, when I first started the SCG show, people told me, no one's going to watch your videos, no one's going to subscribe, no one's going to read your blog posts. Because they lack the courage to even try, let alone do what I have done which is produce hundreds of posts and videos read and watched by people all over the world. Courage is not common. 
That is what sets people who are brave and take the calculated risk apart from those who wallow in misery, regret and play the victim. It is nothing personal. They just lack the self-belief to do what maybe you are doing or what you want to do and achieve in your life. You are better off keeping your goals and ambitions to yourself than sharing it with the world and so on. Unless you are okay listening to a barrage of criticism, hate and jealousy. It's your call. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to comment, like and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, here's some more content you might be interested in.